Before we get started, a big thanks to our friends over at NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. If you're unfamiliar, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online, encrypting your data and protecting you from others finding out about all that weird stuff you might be searching for on the internet. So whether you're in a foreign land and you need access to your favorite content, or you're just sick of bandwidth throttling, or if you're like me, and you have a ton of devices that need to be connected at all times because you got kids living in your house and you know you should have never, oh, never mind. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash startalkvpn for 70% off the two-year plan. That's n-o-r-d-v-p-n.com slash startalkvpn for 70% off. That's right, seven zero. So what are you waiting for? Your unsecured internet to do something for you? Step up your privacy game with NordVPN. Chuck, time for another explainer. All right, sounds good. All right, good. you game? You always game. That's, that's good about you, Chuck. You, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I want to I wanna know more, too. You want to? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's like every time we're done with an explainer, I feel like a star with a rainbow should go over my head. The more you know. The more you know. There yeah. it is. So, so we recently did a, uh, an explainer. You could probably find it in our in our pages on boiling water. Oh yeah, that was okay. good. There was a lot going on there. So that I was thought, good. why not talk about freezing water? Okay. Okay. I mean, why not? All right. You got you got a problem with that? No, I don't. I okay. Mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, freezing water doesn't do much for me as mm. much as boiling water. Yeah, boiling is uh, it's pretty useful. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so, but, so here you go. Okay. If you put, uh, put a, a container of water in the freezer. Okay. okay. Uh, hold, hold the ice cubes aside because those are harder to maneuver for this experiment that I'm suggesting. Get like a pitcher, like a plastic pitcher, uh, fill it, you know, halfway up with, with water. All right. Right. Uh, now measure its temperature. Presumably it came out of the cold water faucet. So cold, it might be 45 degrees or something, okay. I don't know, whatever. We're, we're in, the America would, is Fahrenheit. Okay, right. so it's 45 degrees. And so there it is. You write it down, put down what time you made that measurement, okay? Come back an hour later. Okay. Measure the temperature. Uh, it might be 40 degrees. Okay. okay? Uh, write down the time and the temperature. All right. And you come back again. It might be... 35 degrees. Mm -hmm. Going to come back and write it down. So what's happening is there is heat inside the water that the colder air in the refrigerator is sucking out of it. Okay. Uh, sucking, that's the wrong word there. It is extracting it. Right. So the water is losing heat to the air in the freezer. Are we together? Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. By the way, if you don't have like a big freezer and you have like a little freezer, just use a plastic cup. It'll work just the same, except right. it'll freeze faster because there's less water in a plastic cup. So mm -hmm. maybe make your trips every 30 minutes to do this. All right. Also, if you have it in a pitcher and you put it in the little freezer, you'll you'll just spill it all over the freezer <laughs> and you'll just, you'll just end up with a block of ice. A That's block it. of ice, right. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep doing this. So all this heat energy is going into the air. And then you have compressors and things that are taking the heat out of the heated air that's in the freezer itself. And it goes onto the coils in the back of the freezer. Right. And that's why the back of every freezer is warm. Yeah. That's the heat that used to be in the food you put inside the freezer. That's why mice like to build their little nest under there. Yes, they do. Because they're mammals and they like staying warm the way we do. Right. Okay. Okay. So... Let's go back. What was, what was the last temperature we measured, Chuck? Uh, 40. So 40, and then we do it again. It's 35. Then you do it again, like a half hour later. It's 32 degrees. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. And you see some ice starting to for, form on the top surface. Yes, right. Okay. All right. Well, it's just a film. Just break through it. Put the thermometer in. Take another measurement, uh, you know, half hour later. It's still 32 degrees. Okay. Okay. Take the thumb out, leave it in another half hour, go back. There's more frozen, 
but there's still some water down there. Punch through, take the temperature. It's still 32 degrees. It's still 32 degrees. Well, this doesn't sound like the water is really cooperating with okay. this process. I'm just well, going to say, it, it, you know, uh, the, okay. everything was going perfectly. The, the water didn't get the memo. Okay. And then the water didn't get the memo that, hey, we're supposed to be dropping in temperature because we're freezing. <laughs> okay. So here's, at this point, more and more is getting cold. So why don't you leave the thermometer in there? If it's one okay. of these meat thermometers, you can see uh, what yeah, a vegetarian. It's just got the little metal it's, prong it's at the top. on the end. Do, do vegetarians call them meat thermometers? You know, I don't know. Uh, 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 casserole <laughs> thermometer. So at the top, you can read it while it's in there. So just leave it in there and, re- and then go back another half hour. It's still 32 degrees. So you had been dropping the temperature over a couple of hours or a couple of intervals of 30 minutes, and then the temperature stopped dropping. Okay. It stopped dropping. The freezer's still working. Yeah. It's still pulling heat out of the cup. And the thing is still freezing. Okay. And so eventually the entire thing freezes. Right. You go back, look at the thermometer. It's still 32 degrees. Okay. Then take another half hour break. Go back. Now it's 30 degrees. What? Now it's 25 degrees. Okay. 20 degrees and then 15 degrees. And if you're a good red-blooded healthy freezer, it's 10 degrees, 5 degrees. And most freezers will get you between 0 and 5 degrees. Whoa. So. So why the plateau? Why the plateau? Because Uh. it takes energy to completely stop the moving molecules in liquid water. Okay. That takes energy. So while you are slowing down the moving molecules, right? Okay, and the temperature is dropping because the temperature is the average speed with which the molecules are vibrating, the average kinetic energy of the molecule. So as that happens, the molecules get to a point where they can't vibrate any slower without becoming solid. Oh, so, so, so they're just like, I can't do no more. <laughs> I just, I just can't do no more. I'm so tired. Is that what so they t- sound like? I'm so tired of vibrating. <laughs> you, can oh, listen, you can listen to the oh. molecule. <laughs> oh, it just never ends. Scarlet, oh, this I can't. Oh. Scarlet, I can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do declare I'm just, I'm just exhausted. I'm just exhausted. And bam, then you become frozen. And that's it. Go on without me. <laughs> Just go on without me. <laughs> oh, shit. I do declare <laughs> that is the phrase that would be right. spoken in that moment at that time. And so all that extra energy getting taken out of the water is serving to create the ice. Wow. Okay. Then when the ice is frozen, we have solid water. And those molecules have vibrations too, but now they're vibrating in a solid lattice, right? right? And you can slow down those vibrations, but you can only do it while it's in the, uh, in the frozen state, while it's in its solid state. So, so, so now only when the whole thing turns to ice, all right, will the temperature now drop for what's in there. And so that's why you get the plateau. And so most people I've spoken to are not thinking about the temperature of ice. They right. think that all ice is just frozen at no, 32 frozen. degrees. No, no, right. you can have very cold ice. Right. You can have ice at zero degrees. So now you make ice cubes, all right? Pull out an ice cube at zero. Like I said, most good freezers take you down to zero, anywhere between zero and five. Put that in your drink. So now the drink will cannot melt the ice until what happens? Until the molecules start moving again. The, the, right. So it has. To, so the ice goes in at zero degrees. What happens to the temperature of the ice? Um, well, the temperature of the ice would stay. No. But the, no, the, the, no. 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 It is ice at zero degrees. Okay. You put but, it in your drink. But now, it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't the drink actually start taking the? No. Wouldn't the ice start taking the? Uh, the heat from the drink. Yes. It starts pulling it in. Yes. Because yes. it, okay. Okay. The same so now, way your freezer does. Yes. Yes, Chuck. So Chuck the ice becomes it. your freezer, yes. basically, yes. inside the glass. Inside the glass. It's in reverse freezer. All right. Right. So the ice says, give me some of your heat. 
Right. Now give me your, your, you know, okay. And so what does that heat do? It doesn't melt the ice because the ice can't melt at it zero can't degrees. It can't melt at zero degrees. So what it does is by extracting heat from the liquid, yes. the liquid is now losing heat yes. and it must lower its temperature, its temperature because by the raising, molecules in the, gra- in the glass are not moving as quickly because of the ice that's pulling out the heat. Correct. Which is, and wow. meanwhile, the temperature of the ice is rising. Damn. In response to this, okay. okay. Then right. let then, me tell you something. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not done here. Go then, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go the ahead. ice keeps the temperature. Of the ice keeps rising until it hits 32 degrees. Two degrees. Then it'll still take energy out of the drink, but now at the cost of diluting the drink because right. now you're because converting. Because now it's going back to water. Back to water. Wow. Correct. Okay. There you if have you, it. If you don't like science after this shit, <laughs> there's something wrong with you. So what you could do is take really cold <laughs> ice, put it in your drink, and um, and if you don't want to dilute your drink, you leave it in for like, you know, 30 seconds, because this will happen fast, and then take it out and put in another ice cube. Then you won't dilute your drink. You'll drop the temperature of your drink. And by the way, if you take a really cold ice cube, dip it in the drink, and pull it out again real fast, you'll see the drink frozen on the surface of the ice and the ice cube is intact. Try wow. that experiment. Look at that. Like, do, use tongs to do that. Really cool. Okay, All that's right. great. Chuck, that's, that's uh, ice, that's bar drinks 101. There you <laughs> go, people. That <laughs> there you go. Now, now you know how to make cold drinks for somebody or several people. <laughs> You can make cold drinks for several people with just a few ice cubes. Uh, just a few ice cubes. Just share that out. All right. We got to call it quits there. That's been an ice cube explainer on right. Star Talk. Thanks for being there, Chuck. As always, keep looking up.